The last thing you bought on Amazon is your defense against a bear attack. How do you do? Hmm, maybe I can offer to test the bear's lair from old particles? Surely this service is worth the price of letting me live. And then he can use the fire extinguisher to fight forest fire so you don't have to prevent them so hard? A battery-powered automatic playing card shuffler. Against an attacking bear, the first defense I would have is to stand up to it, lunge my arm forward with the shuffler in hand, while simultaneously holding the own switch and hope the noise in my aggressive action is enough to deter the bear. If that fails, I'd have to try to jam the plastic shuffler in its mouth. I would imagine that would stop the bear cold if it bit down on it. I think the shuffler increases my odds of survival. What's funny about surviving bears attacks is that you have dozens contradicting guides made by dozens of people who never faced a bear in the wild. For example, the Inuit will tell you that the last thing to do, whatever the bear, is making yourself look weak never turn your back, make yourself as big as possible. The truth is, if a bear want to eat you, it will eat you, but you can try to discourage him as much as possible. The interesting thing about surviving bear attacks is that there are a ton of conflicting manuals written by a ton of people who have never encountered a grizzly in the wild. For instance, the Inuit will advise you to avoid turning your back and to grow as big as you can because doing so will make you appear vulnerable to the bear. In actuality, a bear will devour you if it wants to but you can try to deter him as much as you can. I take the 6 foot long micro HDMI cable and loop it around my hand to use it as a garrote and leap on the bear's back and wrap it around its neck in a desperate attempt to choke it out. I then shove the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B in its mouth in the hope that it chokes to death on its 4 gigs of RAM. Pretty fucking good. I just got 2 pounds on many Reese's peanut butter cups that melted into a glob got a refund. I could easily throw that at a bear and run away. I also got a watercolor paint set, a tire gauge and a package of Grape Sour Patch Kids just in case anybody was curious. Three hardcover books. Could probably break the bear's jaw if I time it just right, then just keep pressing the attack until the bear gives up. My complete lack of upper body strength would be the hurdle to overcome in this scenario. My last order was 100 feet of nylon rope. Not amazing, but I could do a lot worse. A bit of prep time, and I might be able to MacGyver something. At least it's more likely to help than the 4 terabytes SSC I ordered before that. 6 foot USB cord. I could try to strangle him I guess, but I'm the type of person who wanted a 6 foot USB cord out of convenience and so I wouldn't have to reposition myself closer to an outlet. So, I don't like my odds. Since I have had my own money I've never used Amazon and my parents would always get it if I asked and would use money safe so either nothing or a card so I don't think there's a difference I place my odds at 13.84. A few spools of filament from my 3D printer. I guess my options are open as to what weapons print away in the corner as I'm mauled. Unless a bear's feeling generous enough to wait a bit and come back later. I squirt a beautiful fan tail of expensive sex lube behind me as I'm running and I pray the bear slips crashes into a tree rendering himself unconscious. Maybe I have an overactive imagination, smiley face. I have a rechargeable tent fan lamp and some cyanotype paper. Maybe I can get the bear to stand directly in the sun for 30 minutes covered in an acrylic sheet and have a cool sun print of my own mauling. USB floppy disk drive so I can see what I saved in all those AOL installation floppies I reformatted in the 90s. I'll just try to brain myself with it before the bear finishes me off. Okay so in looking up bear facts I'm perplexed as to how we can exist as a species being so slow. Turns out literally everything on earth with legs can outrun us by almost 10 miles per hour. Last item or a purchase? If it's the whole order I got a fighting chance. Work knife. Cooler backpack. Six bars of soap. Magnetic bracelet. Fishing line. Vibrating cock ring. I bought a transformer toy. I guess I could shove it down the bear's throat hope he chokes on it. Those things have a lot of small plastic parts and pointy bits. A box of blades for my box cutter. Quickly inserted all 100 of them into my body like a trick or treat apple so he could choke on them when he's devouring me. Unless it's a really freaky bear, I don't know how much help a vibrating cock ring is going to be. Neither do I think I am capable of getting that drunk. 9.5 ounce container of pre-workout supplement powder in a 20 ounce shaker bottle. I think I just gave him more energy to eviscerate TF out of me, man shrugging. A camera that looks out the door, and alerts me to motion outside, that feeds into a nap. So I see it, and know not to open the door. Works for me. The last thing I bought on Amazon was a bicycle repair maintenance stand. It wobbles. But I assume now can outrun a bear. 
If it's out of shape, a wood splitting axe, a hefty and large bolt cutter like tool for crimping large battery cables, and some epoxy resin. Probably gonna be okay. Bad ID covers and bad clips. Looks like whoever finds my body will at least be able to identify me despite how much Ray Bear leaves behind. Not bad. I bought a battery powered wee whacker with a wood saw A attachment. I call it the zombie killer. As long as the batteries are charged. I accidentally bought some throw pillow covers thinking I was buying throw pillows so unless the bear really likes sage corduroy I'm screwed. Photopolymer resin. It's toxic in its liquid form, so that's a bonus, but it's probably not fast enough to kill the bear before I am injured. Got a vasectomy today. Last thing I ordered was a jock strap. So I'd at least be supported while being mauled to death least, which is nice. It is Dandy's Inferno. I will read it to the bear so it will understand the horrific punishment that awaits it if it decides to eat me. A wooden board for drawing it is quite thin, but it could help depending on how pissed the bears can hide face and walk away. Cool. How am I gonna fight a bear with a fucking Kurt Cobain poster? I mean Kurt Cobain is badass but not kill a bear in poster form badass. I bought some wipes for my CPAP masks. So I guess I can rub some of the stink off him right before he slaps me into the afterlife. Well, I bought some hearing aid batteries for my dad, so, I guess, maybe he could hear the bear coming and we'd make it get away. Actually essence pepper spray is illegal in NYS, I bought keychain lets off a piercing siren sound when pulling the clip. A travel utensil set that's all metal and contains a serrated steak knife. I can try to stab the bear, or in my misery early. Skeins of yarn. Stay back bear I'm crocheting a net to catch you in. But if you want to chill for a few, it could be a blanket. I guess I could cover myself with the blouses I bought, like a child hides under her blankets to escape from the boogeyman. Yeah I don't think 120 mg skink with a loba is going to do it, unless it makes me run faster, or smart enough to outwit the bear. My 6 month supply of estrogen should give the bear emotionally instability. I wait until they cry about an ex then run away. Hope it really likes espresso. I guess. Too bad the cat food got delayed in shipping, that would have bought me some time. A dog carrier for small dogs. I guess it can be used to carry what remains of my remains after the bear is done with me. An electrocuted mini sleeping bag for my feet. At least I'll die with warm feet. And the AC fiends will be rid of me. Not too bad. I bought a mattress. So I could either bed that bear, allow it to nap, or put it between me and said bear. Double XL dark black skill and rise t-shirt. For the upcoming skill and concert August 6th. Don't think it offers much protection. Clothes drying stand. So basically an extendable aluminum pole. Not great, but not the worst thing I could be stuck with. I bought PLA, do I have time to print it into a knife or something? Hold on Mr. Bear, this'll only take. 18 hours. Epsom salt, a hanging holder for plastic bags, and a nice pack. I might be able to MacGyver something out of that. Ice maker I be like the penguins throwing snowballs at Bowser. That is but a taste of our fury do you yield? HDMI switch, whey protein, and two big bottles of sodium hydroxide. Not gonna lie, the sodium hydroxide will do damage. I die what is Sage supposed to do to a bear? Clear away the negative energy he holds towards me in that attack? Barbecue flavored dog pill pocket. They're very fragrant. I bet it would make a decent enough distraction while I eat Gabe. Buck a huge jar of coffee candy. Maybe eat them all to get caffeine rage and choke them out bare not barehanded? This is a fun question. I am in trouble, because I bought a 20 pack of tiny cotton polishing wheels for my drill. Samyang hot chicken ramen double spicy. 140 GMX5. I guess. I can give it a spicy ramen dish to prepare me in. Lynez lip sleep mask lol maybe make out with the bear? Show it how to keep the lips smooth? Smear in its eyes? I guess I'll ice roll the bear until it's really relaxed and then sneak off. I think I'll actually do quite well. Universal automotive AC temperature sensor. Maybe I can jam it down the bear's throat and it'll choke to death. Two-piece swimsuit for my wife. I'm not going to make it. Though, there's a chance I could scare the bear away. A bamboo razor for my partner, so. The bamboo if it's a panda bear. The razor blade if it's any other. I literally had bear spray delivered from Amazon yesterday. Bear attacks aren't just theoretical in my town. Guitar. I can now kabong you once. Assuming first that my clumsy untrained strumming doesn't sue the beast. Safety glasses. At least my eyes will be okay. Unfortunately, they won't be anywhere near the rest of my body. A 24 inch lace front wig. 
I guess I can trick the bear into thinking the person they are looking for left. Bike seat bag. I zip a snout in it, cycle off into it with me until I tame it and give it cuddles, smiley face. A Jedi costume. If that bear strikes me down, I will become more powerful than it could possibly imagine. Three pack of six foot lightning cables. I'm fucked. Unless I make some sort of lasso and ride it around. Better hope it loves playing in ocarina, more than eating me, because I certainly haven't learned it yet. Fitted sheet. I suppose I could try to throw it over the bear's head and confuse it long enough to escape. Candles. Maybe some lavender aromatherapy will calm down a bear, and if not I could set his fur on fire. A pretty dress and anal stretchers. Dear God. What am I going to be doing to this poor bear? Silicone mat for making sourdough. A person face bombing. Light brown skin. Person face bombing. Light brown skin. A person face bombing. Light brown skin. Here teddy bear want a loaf of bread. I'm definitely dead. Smiley face. Smiley face. Guess I throw my bag of protein powder at him. Hope he likes to taste and run like hell while he eats. A tub of creatine. Just try scoop the whole thing and pray that I don't get torn apart within 5 seconds. I bought a 6 month supply of fiber gummies, so I've just hide until he ate them all and got diarrhea. I just bought a no solicitation do not ring doorbell sign. If the bear can read maybe I'll be okay. I'm not sure a guidebook about Brussels is going to help. Unless does the bear want to go to Belgium? Rodent repellent. Nice. Also do we get to pick the bear? Because a koala bear seems easy to defeat. The last thing I bought was an F-35 fighter jet. It's a model so maybe I could get him to choke on it. 